Yeah, so I've, I've finally completed, not really completed, but my day in terms of planning for the, I mean for doing office work is done. So now it's around 4.55 p.m. I'm going to start doing some work for my business. So yeah, I wanted to show you the process. So now we are on my computer. Um... The pictures that I want to post on the computer already taken, so I want to. I had already moved them to my phone, but I'll just show you guys. Like these are pictures for the business that will be posted on the page over time. So um, I just keep moving them to my phone. I just keep moving them to my phone and um. 
posting to my Instagram. So these are some of the images. Um, my sister helped me take them. I didn't take them on my own. <laughs> she used um, a camera. I don't know what type of camera. But she used the camera and helped me take these beautiful pictures that you're seeing on my Instagram. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys how I organize my Instagram page. Um, so this is my phone. I want to show you guys how I organize my Instagram page. So first of all, I should show you the app that I use. It's called Preview. Um, I'll circle it so you can see it easily. It's called Preview. So um, I use this app to organize my Instagram pictures. So um, when you get the app, most times it asks you to log in. It's already logged in, so it already has my page details. So it enables you to to plan for your Instagram page beforehand, how the pictures will look, the general layout. So yeah, this is what I have right now. And if you were to click on one of the pictures, um, you can see that you, you can even put in the the caption. It also um helps you come up with 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 hashtags. Um, there's this hashtag bar that says find hashtags. So if you go there, you can just type something you want. Like I deal in jewelry, so I can type in handmade jewelry and it will bring up different hashtags. These are the hashtags that I've already used. Um, then the hashtags for jewelry, those are some of them that I used. And um, these hashtags help you get um, more followers on Instagram. Personally, for my page, the views haven't really increased that much but it's i think it's worth the try like ever since i began using the app i'm seeing some some people coming onto my page because of the hashtag the times i get one person or five people the most so far i've gotten is 11 people which i think is a good number um moving on you can also um yeah you can keep the hashtags they have recently used hashtags they have most used hashtags then you can create a group which i have and then this group is where you can keep all your your hashtags so you just click on jewelry and then all these hashtags will come out the ones that i had selected then you can schedule when to post so I schedule this for 17th april 2020 at 10 a.m so yeah i think that is all with the app for now is there anything else um yeah you can also filter your images though i filter my images with a different app i'll show you guys how which app i use um then you um you can schedule your 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 post but it won't post for it will just send a notification then when you go onto the post and you tap on the on this arrow it will copy the caption for you then just go into instagram paste the caption upload the picture upload the picture as you can see it even takes you to the instagram whatever yeah so you can upload the picture you can upload the picture and paste the, the caption and yeah keep it moving if you want to delete here yeah, you can use that and yeah that's all um i wanted to show you guys which app um that i use to edit my pictures um the app i use is called adobe lightroom so um yeah i always edit the pictures because I, I learned the hard way i used to just take pictures on my phone and post without even editing just roll like that and when people saw my would see my jewelry in real life they'd be like oh my god your things look better in real life and they look on instagram so obviously i had to learn how to take better pictures edit them and like make them look more attractive so people can be able to buy them even without having seen them before so yeah when you open the app um this is the home page so you click the on the bottom right of the screen there's that plus sign you tap onto that it opens up device folders all the pictures on your phone so you just click on a picture and add it so i had already added the picture to be edited the picture that i would like to edit is here so um 
I don't always come onto this app and edit the picture afresh. I already created presets so that I just come onto this app, add the preset to my picture and just save it and I'm good to go. Like it will literally take me less than a minute. So I'm already on the app. I just scroll down on this lower bar, go on to presets. So if you're to see, um, the, there are very many presets, this color, creative, black and white, and all that. Then user presets are the ones that you create on your own. So I had created mine. Um, I think I'll just make another video specifically to show you guys how to make your own presets um, using Lightroom. So yeah, um, the the preset that I use for my jewelry is the one that is labeled Instapix. I went through different presets and that's the one that I like the most. I even have face pics for Instagram posts just for my selfies. I'll just come here and use that filter. The one for my jewelry is the one I used to use but I no longer like it. So now I'm using the one that's labeled Instapix. As you can see, the picture has changed and it's like a whole other picture. Like, see the before when you had breath and the after. Like, it's so beautiful. So you just press that sign up there on the top right. And you're done. To save the picture, you tap on the share button. And then you select save to device. And that is how it will be saved to my phone. You can select, I think, as many pictures as you want. I don't know if these are limit but you can select so they can all export at once as you can see exporting takes a while so yeah photo has been exported successfully i've finished creating the complete um plan for my instagram if you're to see the six pictures uh, at the bottom they all have clocks on them because they've already been scheduled for and he had already even posted them so the three at the top, those are the latest pictures. So um, I always leave the old pictures just to see how it would generally look on my page. I don't want to keep going back and forth. Um, if you to see, I'm trying to come up with a theme. Um, first of all, if you look at the background that I'm using for the pictures, if you see the, the filter I'm using, it's the same. It's kind of orangey. And then when you look at the middle the middle pictures with the words i might also want to do a theme of like black and white because i love black and white so much so i had to incorporate it even if you're to go on my page the logo of the company is in black and white like those are my two favorite colors so yeah that's literally the plan i came up with so um yeah i want to just show you guys how it looks at the end and yeah so you can have an idea in case you want to start a business you already have an existing business you can use some of these tips and tricks um after this i think i should show you how my instagram looks like the posts that are here are not going to be in my instagram because i'm going to i'm scheduling them for the future but feel free to always check out my instagram page and comment and let me know what you think about the new outlook because yeah i'm trying to do something new and more organized and professional looking and yeah i just really want to attract more customers so yeah these are just some of the tricks that i use so yeah this is my instagram page for the business um if you look at it yeah that is the company logo at the bottom i deleted all the previous pictures because i just wanted to start out afresh so yeah, that's the, the general outlook of, of my Instagram page. Then I have some things up here on the highlights. Um, yeah, if you'd want to collaborate with me, feel free. I'd mainly want to collaborate with the small and the nano influencers just so we can promote each other because we are both small. I tried um, collaborating with the bigger influencers, but it's a mistake that I made. If I'm small, I need to work with small companies. And when I'm big, I work with bigger companies. I think that that would only make sense. So yeah, if you'd want to collaborate with me, can maybe DM me on the business Instagram page, which is at Strictly African, or you can email me at strictlyafrican20 at gmail.com. And yeah, we can 
discuss collaborations um yeah i think that, that brings us to the end of this video thank you guys so so much for watching if you made it to the end i'm really grateful thank you so so much um yeah for just taking time off to watch this video i hope it was helpful don't forget to like comment subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye